home onto his trunk. Go away, said Mr. Large. I don't want you ruining my best trousers. The baby crept into the bedroom where Mrs. Large was putting on her makeup. Mrs. Large didn't notice until it was too late. Look, said the baby, pretty. Don't move, said Mrs. Large. Don't touch anything. Outside on the landing, things were even worse. Laura was clopping about in her mother's best shoes and beads, and Lester and Luke were seeing how many toys they could cram into her new tights. Hmm, a lot. Downstairs at once, bellowed Mrs. Large. Can't I have just one night of the whole year to myself? One night when I am not covered in jam and poster paint? One night when I can put on my new dress and walk through the front door all in one piece? The children went downstairs to Granny. Mr. Large followed soon after, very handsome, in his best suit. At last, Mrs. Large appeared in the doorway. How do I look? Pretty, Mommy, gasped the children. You look smashing, said Mr. Large. Just like a movie star, dear, said Granny. Hands off, said Mrs. Large to the paint-smeared children. Mr. and Mrs. Large got ready to leave. Goodbye, everyone, they said. Be good now. And the baby began to cry. Just go, said Granny, picking her up. She'll stop as soon as you've left. Have a lovely time. Ah, oh, we've escaped, said Mr. Large with a smile, closing the front door behind them. All in one piece, said Mrs. Large, and not a smear of paint between us. Actually, said Mr. Large gallantly, you'd look wonderful to me even if you were covered in paint. Which was perfectly true and just as well, really. The end. Hope you enjoyed this little story about the elephants.